When you walk through this campus, it's easy to lose yourself in the beauty, the architecture, the history. I was really nervous coming in. Coming here is a culture shock. It was really foreign to me. It was really foreign. Regardless of your race, gender, sexuality, everybody comes here wanting to fit in. Generations of alumni have passed these very steps, like pages in an unfinished novel. My mom went here. My mom would take me to the chapel, and I'd look over, and my mom was crying. And I was always confused. I was like, why is she so emotional about this place? 125 years in the blink of an eye. But at St. George's, one doesn't lose themselves in the novel. They find themselves in it, in teamwork. We want to see each other succeed. In community. Everyone is welcome. This community of 390 kids from so many different backgrounds. Over time, it truly became my home. It is a space to grow. Getting this space where I can just be creative. And to appreciate. We have this amazingly beautiful campus. The top of the chapel, that site takes your breath away. You see the trails that you make, you see the paths that you take. There's beauty in those little moments. It is a place for adventure. The things that we do here, they're not normal. On Saturday, I'm leaving at three o'clock in the morning to go to the Bahamas to live on a boat for a week. A place to uncover everything the world has to offer and what one wants to contribute in return. I didn't expect to find all of these things I was so passionate about. I've always had the potential within me, but this school gave me the resource to act on that potential. At St. George's, much has changed. If people who were here 125 years ago came here now, they wouldn't recognize the school. But much remains the same. You have some of the best times of your life. 125 years of excellence. A feat achieved together to another 125 years.